this offense, what he has to do, right? This, this is not usually an offense or, or a type of thing that a rookie can just come in and go, wait, I got it. Let's go. Let's play regular season football. I'm, I'm down. What's the check? Oh, 358 cannon, 200 jet smoke, blah, blah, blah. He knows. So he's a natural that way. And that's why Mike, in a lot of ways, okay, yeah, his experience in Oregon and Auburn help and being a coach's son, but – Back to another draft talking point that I think is overblown and stupid. Just like I talked about the screen game being stupid. Oh, his age. His age. Oh, no. He's a little too old. Like, what are we – are we building a grandfather chair for the guy? It's a five-year rental. We're going to see where it goes from there. It, it, to me, it's a positive thing. And the fact that he's a little older and mature that way, yeah, he's capable of – you know, I, learning, listening better, been in some offenses, more mature with his thoughts. We all know how that goes in your 20s. You evolved compared to 21, compared to 25 or 6. I was a different human being. 21, I was crazy and stupid. 25, I was just stupid with a little crazy. So, yeah, you mature. You change that way. And I think that was a positive for Bo Nix in this situation too. Yeah, and we've seen how long a quarterback can play. I mean, what do you want? A 20-year answer? A 25-year right, right, answer? Right. right. You're not going to be there anyway. Chances are you're getting fired at some point along the line. Like, whether the guy's 25, 24, 23, or 22 really shouldn't matter when you're just looking at the next, really, year. Get me through this year. Get me employed until next year. And then that next year, my objective is stay employed until the year after that. I mean, any given year, every given year, any coach, any GM can be fired with a few small exceptions. But, you know, really beyond just a handful of coaches and GMs, they are one, two and 15 season away from being fired. I mean, it can go sideways one year and you're out. So yeah, who cares? Yeah, how old your quarterback I mean, like, is? Yeah, yeah, you exactly. just want somebody that's going to keep you in the job for ideally five years, right? And if you make it five years, you've probably beaten the odds, right? We're, we're, I mean, you're you're saying it right. Ask Nick Sirianni. You know, he's going into the Super Bowl two years ago, going, "I'm the greatest coach in football. We're the best team in football. We're about to kill everybody. I'm about to wipe the floor with the Chiefs in the Super Bowl." I mean, come on, let's not forget, not a lot of people gave the Chiefs a chance in that game, right? I mean, Sean Payton was on Fox that game. He picked the damn the damn Eagles to win by like 14 points. I mean, there was some people in the football world that were like, no way. But just the point is, is like how quickly everything can turn. Here we were, here Nick Sirianni was 10, minutes la 10 months later, and we're all going, man, are they going to fire him? Are they going to hire Bill Belichick? So your point is real there that it, it's a year-by-year -year business here. And, yeah, why, why should it matter that a guy's 25 instead of 21? I think there's a lot of positives in the fact that he's 25. Uh, and, and, yeah, you're going to get more mature, ready to handle an offense results with this type of guy, I think, more times than not, than you will with the 19, 20, 21-year-old. Hey, and Peyton's a guy who needs to erase last year from the memory bank of the fans, the media that cover the Broncos, and the folks who signed the check. We've talked in the past about how much money the Walton Penner Group has, the Walmart heirs and heiresses, They've made enough money in the time that we've been raising this point to fund the buyout through the Walmart conglomerate worldwide. It doesn't matter. They want to move on from Sean Payton. The money isn't an issue. They'll move on from Sean Payton. So he needs to get the right quarterback. He needs to lay the foundation that will get them to say, yes, we made the right decision with the guy that we hired to be the head coach last year. Here's more from Payton on how that experience that Bo Nix had in college will help his transition to the NFL. There is a maturity level to him that maybe is different than a lot of rookies, and you guys see that when you interact. I mean, um, you know, th this is kind of part of this COVID segment of football where, you know, Palcho, I don't know how many games he's played, but probably the most snaps of anyone in NC2A history, and then Bose had 60. You know, that's unusual because of what happened during COVID, and and so you, you do feel a maturity level. Just handling the media, whatever, whatever it is um, that he's had experience with. So you, you do feel that with this player. 
61 college games for Bo Nix. Experience, maturity, NFL ready, not really a rookie. Hey, Sean Payton doesn't want to coach a rookie. Well, he kind of isn't. <laughs> he kind of isn't. You know, that, but that's been the narrative. Oh, Sean Payton with a rookie. No, he needs a guy who's established, almost like the Gruden vibe. Needs a guy who's, who, you know, this, this, this is the, the closest thing to a veteran that you're going to get in a rookie. Yeah, that, that's right. You are. You're, you're getting a guy that, you know, is, is capable of being that quarterback robot that Sean Payton wants to, you know, ba basically be an extension of himself, right? I mean, that, that's really what it is. I'm teaching you all this. This is what we're doing. Now you go out on the field, and I've given you every check and what to do and what to think, and now be like me and, and listen to all the things I told you about all week. That's where Bo Nix is going to be great. It's where I think we're going to see great value here you know, with, with the pick and the mesh of the offense and all of that uh, because there, there's just so many things he does well, too, that are going to – Sean Payton's going to have in his bag, just like he kind of mentioned in the previous little uh, spot where we showed in the inter interview. Hey, most really good quarterbacks can fit in any offense. Now, can that offense have enough things in it to show you this really good quarterback's all that he can offer? And we know Sean Payton will have that, but that's where he's going to have all the Drew Brees, right, bing, bong, boom, quick throws and all of that. And then he's going to have, wait, this guy moves well. We're going to bootleg. We're going to move the pocket a little bit, get him on the run. And then he's going to have the, wait, you know, we've been surgical. We've been tearing you apart five and eight yards. And now we're going to, I got a play drawn up in the dirt here. And we're going to go deep. Uh, Marvin Mims is going deep over the top here. And this guy can throw the deep post here. So that's where it's going to be the perfect marriage and all of that. And then we know on top of that, he ties all these plays together, right? Where, hey, here's a play, blah, blah, blah. It's a short intermediate pass. But if they play this defense, check to this play because we might take a shot over the top. And Bo Nix will be able to handle that, and it'll make it look like he's never wrong. The offense is never wrong. You know, now the big thing is it's going to be regular season football. The preseason, you know, training camp, the simple defenses, some of that stuff, that's going to change, and that's going to be his next learning tool here is, whoa, regular season defense is a whole different animal than preseason defense. They game plan for me week one, and yeah. by week four, five, or six, they have enough film on me right. to really know game what plan I do, for me. what but I'm that's not where, good. Right, right. That, that's where Peyton's the, yes. the master, though. Yes, he he's is. game planning you. Yeah. You're trying to game plan him and his quarterback. He's attacking you with everything you've done, and he's matching up what looks you've shown and what he knows about your defense going back 10 years, and he'll look high and low with a very wide lens for any play that he sees. And we've heard the stories about how he'll install a play and a walkthrough in the hotel ballroom the day of the game. Yeah. That was one of the reasons Breeze was so good for him. Breeze could process that and run that, even though they'd never practiced it before. Because Peyton is always looking and always thinking, what else is out there that someone is doing that works that maybe I could use that I hadn't previously thought of? That's all. That's fair. That's not plagiarism that's football you see something somebody else does that works and you ask yourself is there a chance that would work for me yes or no and if it's yes we'll do it yeah checks and balances right you know not being predictable and oh we're in this formation these guys always break out when we're in this formation he's got a zig for every zag and not and then his offense like we always talk about too makes you defend the whole field and with Bo Nix, it, it's it's you know it, it, it's going to be limitless because he's going to go wait. We can throw go routes sixty yards down the sideline, big deep post, whatever. And I and he's awesome at all this screen short game stuff and everything to go along with it. Let alone he's going to be able to break out the quarterback design run a little in that aspect too. Just like we've seen Jaden Daniels do whatever. Bo Nix is going to be really good at that stuff as well. It's going to help the running game. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of positives here. But, yeah, NFL regular season defense is going to be a little more complex. It's going to be a little crazier, the disguises. And that's where he's going to have to now get ready for that in week one and, and, and deal with that and try to rewire his brain in that manner and the new checks and all that stuff that Sean Payton will throw at him. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.